Good morning, everyone. Let's spend the week together. I'm really excited because this week in Florida, we're supposed to have some really nice weather, not too hot, not too cold. I'm just excited to spend the week together. I woke up feeling inspired for us to all hang out. It is Tuesday, so yesterday I didn't like vlog and start the week because I just didn't feel like it. So we're starting today on Tuesday, and what do we have this week? So, oh, if you're new, my name is Brianna. And what do we have this week? Tonight, Corey and my dad are hitting some golf balls, so I'm gonna go with them and bring my book so I can get some reading done because I haven't, I've been in a little bit of like a reading slump, so I'm excited to get my book restarted and get back into it and have some time to actually dedicate and read it because sometimes at night I feel lazy and I don't feel like reading and then I don't read at all during the day so I'm just excited to get into my book tonight. Wednesday Corey is getting a haircut so my dad and I are gonna find something fun to do. We might go out for tacos, we might go out somewhere else, we might not go out at all, we're not too sure yet so we'll obviously you'll be in this vlog with us so we'll decide. Thursday, I think we're all just gonna hang out at home. And then Friday, Corey made a reservation for us at a place called Seasons 52. Now, we went to Seasons 52 last year and absolutely loved it, but this reservation is at a different branch of the restaurant. So, like, the one that we went to before was in a different location. The one that we're going to on Friday is, like on a river or on the water and it's supposed to be really beautiful so I'm very excited about that. But it is 9:10. I'm going to go sit down at my desk and start work for the day. Today is a very busy work day, but we also need to record the podcast today during lunch. So there is a lot to get done, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and say good morning and let's spend the week together. And I just finished up my last call, so it is noon right on the dot. Corey and I are set up and ready to podcast. I just need to turn off my like noise on my computer just in case any sound pops through. So I get a lot of questions just like in general on how do you manage it all with your full-time job? How do you record the podcast? How do you film for YouTube? When do you edit? When do you take your photos? When do you do all of this content? And honestly, I like to consider it like my five to nine after my nine to five. If you ever wanna be successful, it's just the extra hours of work that you put in. So for example, Corey and I need to find one hour together before tomorrow morning because this is what that's when the podcast needs to go up and we didn't have a chance to record it this morning because I woke up exhausted so now we're recording during lunch Corey is sitting right over here on the couch with me and then what we do is oh unable to load file all right let's refresh so I have right down here it's giving me an issue so I'll have to check this but I have our podcast episode here Corey has his on his like iPad over there so now we are gonna get into recording the podcast. Hi everyone! <laughs> I'm in the back. I was literally just about to say that, <laughs> and then Corey said it. So, hi everyone. It is the afternoon. It's 3:35. I have had a little bit of a busy afternoon with work today. I had, today was like one of my busiest days. So I had a one-on-one -on -one this afternoon. I had like one of our hour long sessions. I did some live listening for some calls for one of the sales teams that I support. And then I do have, it looks like I have another meeting from 4.15 to 4.30. They're called micro training. So it's just a quick little like 15 minute blip. We're learning a little bit more about what's going on in the flight industry in the travel industry. So that's gonna be exciting and crazy and all good things, I guess, hopefully good things. But you know, flights this year have been a little crazy. Oh God, my hair is wild. So today's been a nice day, but a busy day nonetheless. The rest of the week doesn't seem as chaotic or as hectic, so that's really nice. And Corey and I recorded the podcast during lunch. There's always something, I feel like for some reason, there's something going on with the podcast where there's times where we record and the beginning is like sped up. It's like zip, 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 and then it just randomly doesn't have sped up sections. So we're gonna need to re-record the intro of the podcast and we have to finish recording because it was not long enough for us to record for an hour. We're just big talkers. We just socialize when we record the podcast. So we've got to start getting up in the morning and giving ourselves like an hour and a half. More specifically though, when we have like longer episodes that we're excited to talk about, like our trip recaps are always long. Some of our other episodes aren't as long, but like trip recaps or trip schedules, like those kinds of things we talk about for a while because we just have a lot to share and it's just, you know, we're just chatting and we're hanging out and Corey and I chat and hang out normally anyway. So it is, like I said before, it's 3.37 now. I have a few things to organize and get done and then Corey and I are going to re-record the beginning and the end of the podcast because we didn't get to finish. And then tonight I think that we are going to do, I'm making my mom's baked fish here in Florida for my dad and Corey and I, which will be good. And then tonight we are going to the golf cart's 
course, the golf course because the boys are going to hit some golf balls. And I'm gonna bring my book and just sit outside and rest and recharge. I have not been outside at all today except for a quick 20 minutes this morning for my iced coffee. So I'm very excited to get some fresh air. And yeah, that's really about it. I feel like today's been a busy day. Tomorrow in the morning it's not as busy, but still nonetheless a busier day today which fine you know what i mean like work is busy if you're not busy at work then i wish i was you but either way the rest of the week is not as crazy as today was so now i just need to finish up a few little last minute remaining things and then Corey, i need to get this podcast recorded and uploaded because it goes up tomorrow and it's not yet finished. Alrighty, Corey's still working back there, but it is 5.54. My day ends in the next six minutes, but I really don't have much left for the day. I'm gonna do just a few other things and I have a meeting quick at five, but I wanted to share a little bit of like behind the scenes of what I do when it comes to like YouTube videos, when I find the time, what I need to do. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing right now. Also, as I just turned my camera, I also realized that my hair was just an absolute hot mess. So I'm watching Sarah's faves on YouTube her Florida weekend of my life such a fun low-key video absolutely love it I'll link her channel down below and then I also was doing just a little bit of like some content creation up here that's my excel but I wanted to share this because Corey and I are doing two different YouTube videos we're doing a March Disney Q&A and then just a standard Disney Q&A because when I asked on my Instagram questions that you had about just like our Disney trip in general and our March trip there was just a lot of more generic questions like for example out of all the resorts you say that which one is your favorite so what I've done is I've went ahead these are all the questions just from my regular Instagram and then these are also from the podcast page because I asked for both so what I'm doing is I'm putting in my notes app all of these questions so that I can copy and paste them because if I go through it like this it's not super well organized and it doesn't flow and I just want to make sure that I don't miss any questions so this is what I'm doing now I'm writing all of them down here that way I can copy and paste this and send it to Corey so we can just kind of share the page so just thought this was kind of interesting to share when it comes to some YouTube stuff so I thought that just would be a little bit fun to share I think we so often forget that there's some behind the scenes I very well could just like scroll through this and ask random questions but because we got so many basic generic questions like favorite quick service at MK um, out of all the resorts you've stayed at which one is your favorite those are not specific to our March trip but we've gotten so many questions on park hopping so many questions on the resort that we stayed at so many questions on the difference between Riverside and French Quarter so we just want to dedicate an entire video an entire podcast episode to that also what is with the hair today but just thought it would be fun to share Corey's still finishing up some work so now I'm just watching Sarah's faves on YouTube catching up on her videos and and getting some of my Disney Q&A questions ready for a YouTube video. The work day is done. It is 5.45. I ended up finishing up a few last minute things at the end of the day. Sorry, I'm crawling over Corey's legs. We are outside because, oh my gosh, this Google thing just happened again. Try again or send an error report. I don't understand why it's doing this. But anyway, sorry for the bright sun. We are outside right now because the beginning of the podcast, sometimes when we do it, it like gets a little like skiddy. Sorry, the sun and we need to re-record the intro and we ended up not finishing the podcast so now we need to do it again this is not working but we're gonna record and finish the podcast and then i gotta cook some dinner we finished up the podcast there was a ton of issues with it tonight oh. like it was super super frustrating the batteries ended up dying when we were recording it i ended up having to cut four tracks together so if you're a disney fan listen to the latest episode of the podcast because it was a true labor of love it took us almost all day to like within different hours of spurts to finally get it done and like organized and ready but it's uploaded it's live i'm happy about that and it is now it's not 6.30, it's 7.30, right? Because we didn't yes. change the clock yet. Mm -hmm. So it is 7.30, we just finished up dinner. We had baked fish, a nice tossed salad, and some mashed potatoes. And Corey and my dad were gonna go hit golf balls tonight. I remembered I had mentioned that before. But at the last second, we decided not to go because technically it closes at nine. So Corey would only be able to hit balls for like an hour, which we could go, which, like we could have went, but just busy days, felt like just chilling out. So we'll probably go another night, maybe this week or early next, but we are headed to speed bump. We are headed to Dairy Queen because I'm in the mood for a strawberry sundae. Corey made mention of just going to Dairy Queen and I was like, well, you have to reign true to it now because now I want ice cream. So we're headed out to Dairy Queen now. I'm getting a strawberry sundae for me and my dad. Do you think you'll try a new blizzard today or you think you're gonna stay true to your cookie dough blizzard? 
depends on when, when I'm in the mood. Yeah, what you're in the, the mood for when you like the menu. pull up. Yeah. So we're headed to DQ now, but I'm getting my strawberry sundae and I'm very excited about it. And then we're going to end up coming back to the house because we're going to start Inside Man. It's on Netflix. Corey and I started it at home in Connecticut and we actually think my dad would like it. It's with Stanley Tucci. It's basically about, is it a man on death row that's in prison for murdering his wife, but he investigates cases with the FBI and the police? <laughs> basically. Technically, yes, but in like he, layman's terms, but he has to agree to taking the case. Said case, so. okay. So he meets with people, but he's like, I'm not. I'm not going to take it, it, or I will take it, or whatever it might be. So it's really good. We started it at home. I think we only ended up watching like two episodes. Two episodes. So we're going to start it now with my dad because we actually think that the three of us would really like it. The green lights just went. That's why I had a different light. But to Dairy Queen we go, and then we're going to just kind of chill in for the night and watch the Inside Man. I feel like sometimes when I come to DQ, I just like want the whole menu. Just looks so good. Cool. Can I do uh, two medium strawberry sundaes? Okay. And then could I do one large Heath Blizzard, please? And a small fry. Anything else? Uh, one small fry as well, please. I decided at the last second. Anything else? That will be it. This is gonna be 2002. Thank you. We got the goods. These are the biggest medium strawberry sundaes I've ever seen. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It was a great day yesterday. Once we ended up coming back from Dairy Queen, we ended up watching the series Inside Man. It was only four episodes. It was with Stanley Tucci. Basically, it's on Netflix if you haven't heard of it. It is a Netflix original. It's like a micro series, so it's literally four episodes. Also, these birds and these ducks and these massive things outside in Florida, like by my dad's, they're just like, they're always making noise. Okay. They're quiet. For now. But it is basically a show where it's called The Inside Man and it is Stanley Tucci. He murdered his wife, like in the show, Stanley Tucci's character has murdered his wife and he is in prison on death row for murdering his wife. But they utilize him while he is on death row to investigate certain cases and he has to meet certain criteria within these cases and normally. He cracks the cases or he solves the cases, which is amazing. And then simultaneously, it's following this woman who was like on a train. She ends up like meeting this gentleman. His, he's the vicar in the town. And I'm not doing it justice at all. But if you're interested in looking it up, I would watch the trailer or just like watch the first 25, 35 minutes of an episode. It is so good. I love Inside Man. If you've seen it, comment down below what you thought. I really do think that the ending though, like there has to be another season. Like the way that it ended was just not clear and like there's a lot of missing holes and I just wanna know the answers to certain things. So I'm hoping that they end up coming out with potentially another season. Today is gonna be a nice day. It's 10.15, I was just doing some stuff for work and I have a little bit of a slower day today which is kinda nice. It's also absolutely beautiful weather in Florida. I am in sweatpants right now because it is 67 degrees and it is not supposed to get any higher than I think what it is right now honestly is it supposed to get any higher no it's supposed to okay maybe 71 but then it's supposed to go down again it feels so nice to be in sweats and a short sleeve shirt like I just feel so comfortable and I feel so good so that's been nice because it's a little bit of like a cooling day we've got all the doors and the windows open so we're getting some fresh air circulation which I absolutely love and I do need to finish up a few things at work but I also need to finish up organizing my like Disney questions for our Disney Q&A so I need to do that this morning and we're all just kind of hanging out Corey's got a busier day I have a little bit of a lighter day Day. I'm hoping to go on a nice walk today because the weather is just so stunning I just want to sit outside all day long and yeah, that's just a quick little update We had a nice night last night Watch the inside man got a nice day today. Corey's getting his hair cut So my dad and I are gonna do something tonight. We're not sure yet what he took out chicken So we'll have dinner and we'll just kind of hang I think I'm gonna do an Amazon haul too I've gotten a few packages in that I haven't had the chance to open so we can open some Amazon packages together too Which will be fun to do today so that's all I've got, but I'm gonna go sit back down at my desk because I have some things to do. Also, I feel like, I don't know if you can see if I turn my head, I won't be able to see this until I'm editing, but I feel like my bun came out really good today. I also had to slick it back with some gel because tomorrow was my hair washing day, so rather than having flyaways, I was like, oh, I might as well put the gel in it. So that's all I've got. I'm gonna go sit at my desk and get some things done, and I've got my liquid IV for the day, which is always very nice. As much as I am loving and living for this warm weather, today feels just like such a nice, refreshing, chilly day. Like, it feels nice to be bundled up, but it's also really nice to have, like, warm, 
cool air if that makes sense you know it's not freezing it's kind of giving like chilly spring which is kind of nice the spring is my least favorite season but at least in florida having not an 85 or 90 degree day with straight sun it's nice to have the windows open and everything but I thought we could do a quick little Amazon haul. I wanted to share kind of everything that I've ordered. Now, this is not a big haul. There's also one other thing I ordered this morning at like the last second that is coming in the mail. There was just a few things that I needed slash wanted. Let's talk about it. So the first thing is my dad has these metal straws. Corey and I are definitely gonna be ordering a pack of these for the house in Connecticut because we love them. He's got these metal straws that have the plastic tip on them, but he only had like two or three and we kept like immediately using them and washing them or putting in the dishwasher. And because we don't actually run the dishwasher every day, they were just sitting and we had to hand wash, whatever, he only had a few. So I ended up buying a, I think it was a 12 pack I will have everything I bought linked down below as well and I have a link to my Amazon storefront as well but it basically came with a shorter curved straw a longer curved straw a tall straight straw and a short straight straw and then it came with I think it was one two three four five six seven eight sixteen of these little like colorful plastic tips that go on the top of the straw. That's been a game changer. So we bought that from Amazon. Then I ended up buying, if you know me, you know that I love the Crazy Yoga, I think is the brand. Yeah, CRZ Yoga brand on Amazon. So I went on a walk the other day and I didn't have a sports bra because I don't go to the gym. I have a gym membership. I haven't used it in two years. It's just Planet Fitness. So, you know, whatever but it's just something that I don't do and one of my goals this year is to find ways that I love to move my body and when we're in Florida I do love nothing more than taking a nice long walk the flowers are blooming everything is green the palm trees are stunning the sun is shining so I like to walk but when I went for a walk I didn't want to wear like my regular bra because it was uncomfortable and I only have like this stretchy bralette bra which is like literally no support it's just like stretchy and it is what it is so i ended up ordering a bra from online which is the crazy yoga brand if you know me i wear these crazy yoga bike shorts all summer all bike short season i wear them in disney i wear them on vacation i wear them literally everywhere and so i bought the crazy yoga sports bra and the back is really pretty too it's got this nice crisscross i tried on the medium the medium fit but honestly i probably could have went with a large so i have a pretty big chest like I have pretty big boobs and so when I wear things I don't want things like suctioned cup tight that it hurts my chest I want things that just fit naturally and comfortably so this might be I ended up deciding you know what let's try the large like let's see how the large fits let's see how much bigger it is so this is the large right here in the white let's oops let's open it now this even looks just drastically bigger than the black one but maybe this one like just because i have bigger boobs it will fill out a little bit better so again it's the exact same bra just in white and then the back has that really pretty crisscross i'm gonna line this one up with the black one let's see almost like the size difference because at first glance these are like okay so let me i'm gonna hold this up because i think this is pretty like drastic this is the like the size difference like that's pretty thick of a size difference and like in terms of the top like it they're the white one is definitely it's kind of not hard to see but like the white one is definitely a lot bigger so we'll ultimately see whichever one fits better if they both don't fit super great they'll both go back to amazon but just thought i would buy a nice sports bra for walking around this i'm almost positive is my if i can open it i went to get scissors i just couldn't do it so these are i ended up buying another pair of my all-time favorite amazon sunglasses so these are yes i think they're the same i'm gonna go grab let me grab these so these are my all-time favorite amazon sunglasses that i have right here they are just like my favorite sunglass in general i love them they're my favorite they're comfortable on my face they're big they're fun they're aviator style and i just absolutely love them however they've got the biggest scratch in the front like they really honestly should probably hit the trash or just be like my nasty pool or beach sunglasses honestly if they're you know really gross so because they were on sale i ended up getting a new pair which is nice wait these don't look the same are these the same glasses these definitely do not look the same am i crazy am i crazy 
No, they're different. Oh, that's super annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely need to return these because, so these are my sunglasses. These right here, these are the ones that I ordered. They don't look it right off the bat, but these are way more rounded. These are way more square edged. Okay, so these need to go back because I definitely don't want those. I want my actual ones. I'll have to look up like which brand I bought those. I don't even, that's just weird. I don't know. I thought that I had just repurchased the same. Well, that's okay because I know that one of the sports bras is going to have to go back anyway. So this is going to be a return. And then the last thing that I ordered from Amazon is I have this Lily Pulitzer beach bag that my mom got me, which I am literally obsessed with. I love it so much. It is this like blue, really pretty plastic beach bag. It's absolutely massive. And I really want, I brought it with me to Florida. Actually, let me get it. It is this beautiful beach bag. Now, I'm not a Lily Pulitzer girl. Like I don't want, wear their clothes. This is literally the only Lily Pulitzer thing that I own. But I just love the pattern. I love the color. I love the straps. And it's absolutely ginormous. Like there's so much that I can fit in here. And as much as I love it, I really didn't want to have to lug a bag back and forth, back and forth from Florida to home and I just like wanted to invest in a bag that I could keep here so that I had a beach bag for here so I was scouring scouring and I ended up finding the same bag I was looking for on Amazon which is great because the last place that they sold them where my mom bought mine was the paper store if you have something called the paper store but they had this one on Amazon they had a ton of different patterns and this one just really like felt very florida-esque to me i just really liked this one it didn't feel too crazy you know there's not a fish on it or anything like that i'm just taking the plastic off so i can show you it's just taking a little bit longer but i got this really pretty almost like palm tree pink and green and teal print i really love it it's the exact same beach bag same everything and it was only 25 dollars, which i think is really i mean a good pretty good price the other thing that i love about these lily pulitzer beach bags is that they're almost wax coated slash plastic so the thing that makes that really nice is you can just rinse them with the hose i really I actually really love this print and it's really out there for me. I'm not, as you all know, I'm pretty much just like a neutral girl through and through. So that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but that is a little bit of an Amazon haul. So I thought I would go through that with all of you because it was just kind of nice to be able to do that. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to end up putting these sunglasses just in this box. They're definitely going to go back to the store and that's it. Now Corey and I decided to order Chipotle for lunch. So that's going to be the dream and we're going to have Chipotle for lunch. Got Chipotle for lunch, which oh, yeah. is amazing. I always get a bowl with... What did I get today? I got white rice, no what beans, steak. I know sometimes <laughs> I get the brown rice. So that is my order if you want to just see what I get. And then Corey gets literally get everything. Today? You got a double wrap burrito with, with yeah, with literally everything. Well, I was going to say, actually, your order is a double wrap burrito with, because I ordered it, white rice, double steak, black beans, medium salsa, the green salsa, sour cream, cheese, guac, lettuce, fajita veggies. What did I miss? It's literally your favorite food to consume. Oh, the corn salsa. I thought I said it. Sorry. <laughs> and then I got chips and guac on the side. I've got a soda. Corey's got his little vitamin water and then his little uh, jalapeno stuff that he puts on. And now we're just going to watch some TV and enjoy lunch. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. Last night, my dad and I ended up just hanging out for a few hours. We ended up not going out. It was just a nice relaxing at home evening we cooked dinner Corey went to get his hair cut so my dad and i just got to hang out just us two for about an hour and a half to two hours we cooked dinner together we waited for Corey to come home to eat and we just got to chat i feel like as nice as it is having Corey, it is nice to have some alone time too with my dad once in a while so that was nice a little hour and a half together which was really great and this morning i'm trying one of those new cappuccino pods so if you're new to the channel i always talk about these aldi cappuccino pods that my mom gets the salted caramel which are my favorite my dad's got them in french vanilla i'm really liking them i ended up going with a warm cup of coffee today because it's not going to be a hot day today it's 65 and breezy right now so i'm in my sweats and my nice like comfy lululemon sweatshirt which has been so nice to feel bundled up we've got all the windows open in the condo it's so beautiful as much as i love the heat in florida and the sun do not get me wrong there is nothing better than a florida day with just beautiful views but like 
early spring weather this is kind of what early spring weather is to me when it's not sweltering hot but it's like you could be in a sweatpants and you know sweatshirt or leggings and a long sleeve t-shirt or something that's like some of my favorite kind of weather so for today it is about 9 15 so i'm gonna go sit at my desk soon and get some work done during my lunch today corey and i actually need to film a youtube video so we are filming our sit down disney q a because we got so I asked over on my Instagram like if people had questions about our March trip like I would do a video dedicated because I had had just a few DMs in general also the Florida birds and we got so many like let me just read off how many questions and these are like also not all the repeats I tried to you know if somebody asked about park hopping we, there was a ton of questions there was probably seven or ten I condensed them into like two or three so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty two questions just alone on the March trip. And I just feel like that's gonna be a long, fun video to film. So we need to film that during lunch today because I would love to get that up next week. And we also tonight are going to mine and Corey's favorite authentic Mexican taco place tonight with my dad for tacos for dinner. And oh my god, am I so excited. This is my literal favorite taco place that we go to you're gonna obviously come with us because it's so fun and the food is so good the decor is amazing the menus are all in spanish and the only way that you can kind of order they understand english a, a little bit and i'm not saying that in a rude way but the cool thing is is that i love that they did this for the people that go that are english speaking on the table there is photos of the menu item and you can just point to what you're looking for and it's in spanish but it's got the photo and i think that's really nice because it helps us and I don't know Spanish, but I love their food, so I want to support them, but I also want to know what I'm ordering, and I just really love that. So we're going to go to the taco place tonight I'm very excited about, and today is going to be a little bit more of a low-key day. I've got a few things this morning for work, but the afternoon, not too much. Just need to do, again, some live listening for one of my sales teams. So today is going to be a nice work day, but I've got my cup of coffee, and now I'm going to go sit at my desk, but man, this weather is just bringing me all the joy in the world. Alrighty, it is 12.30. I did a little bit of light glam. I ended up using the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint, the Hourglass Concealer, a little bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, my Dibs Blush, some mascara, and my Summer Fridays Lip Gloss that Corey got me for Christmas. So, we are going outside now, outside. We are going outside now because it is time for me and Corey to film our Disney q and I'm hoping to have that up in the next, like, maybe a week or so, we're, we got so many really good questions via DMs during our trip that I thought, hey, let me throw out a question box, and I, we actually ended up getting, like I said, this morning, just a ton, so Corey's sitting on the deck right now, and I just felt like I wanted a little glam for the YouTube video, so we're gonna go sit outside right now, we need to record a video during our lunch break, and then I actually have no meetings the rest of the afternoon, I do have a few little admin things I need to get done, but it just feels really nice to have a clear, like, evening, afternoon work schedule, because I feel like the last three days I've just been, like, booked booked and booked and booked and booked so this feels really nice and like a breath of fresh air so we're gonna go outside and get this video filmed alrighty Corey and I just finished up filming the Disney March Q&A video I feel like my makeup looks so good today I really didn't use much but for some reason I just feel pretty took some selfies for the thumbnail that was good let me put this camera down a little bit I feel like it's we're a little high okay that feels a little bit better so now for the rest of the day I need to go sit down and get a few work things done I am gonna start to probably edit this Disney Q&A video like the one that we just filmed because I think I've got like 55 almost an hour's worth of footage so I definitely need to get that like done and organized or at least updated up uploaded to my hard drive so I'm probably going to do that today, and then the next time that you'll see us, I don't know when. We're just kind of hanging for the day. I did change. I changed my sweatshirt out of my white one because the Lululemon one, I always get nervous about getting even a little bit of makeup on. I've, been, I've like sprayed some of my other stuff from Lulu and even Corey's too sometimes. Not that I feel like it stains easier, that the stains don't come out because I don't think that's the case, but I feel like sometimes with my makeup on sweatshirts, I just get nervous that I don't think it's worth the money to get a stain on this one and then maybe not be able to get it out. So I just changed into this my like favorite Costco sweatshirt ever. It's got little pockets, but it's a crew neck. I love it. Sarah's faves on YouTube. She's the one who told me about it. So I went to get it. So again, I have her channel linked down below, but wanted to do a quick update in the same vlog. I ended up trying on the large crazy yoga sports bra in white. It was 
huge, like massive, super big. Like it definitely needs to go back. It did not fit. So I said, you know what? Let me try on the medium again, but I'm going to take the pads out, like the two circular little like boob things so i ended up taking these out and the medium sports bra from crazy yoga fit literally perfect so this one we're keeping the other one we will be returning Friday. Yesterday was so fun last night. We ended up going out to a place called, I always, I think it's called Del Rey Taco and then underneath it says authentic Mexican restaurant and it is one of the best taco places in the world. Corey and I look forward to this every single time that we come to Florida. My dad said that, I asked him last night how he even ended up finding this place. It's only about like a seven minute drive from the house which is nice because it's super close but he had said that it used to be completely empty and then one day the restaurant had just showed up in this plaza that he goes to once in a while or drives by so he went in to try it and then he ended up meeting the owner who's really nice and what he learned was that the owner had a f food truck at this point for about 20 years it's now been 24 years since the it's been four years since the restaurants opened but he had a food truck for 20 years and then wanted to make like a restaurant like a flagship and so then he still has the food truck but he now has this restaurant as well and it is so good it is like some of the best tacos in the world i always get last night i got a little happy and i ended up getting four tacos i don't know who i thought i was i ended up literally only eating two but they're all just full of they're not your americanized taco it's just like full of meat and fresh cilantro and a little bit of fresh veggies so they're very like protein meat heavy so that's why i think i end up not eating too many next time i go i'm just gonna get three four was too many i could have eaten three but i ended up getting four tacos two of the steak ones one barbacoa which i didn't like and i always get the american hard shell i didn't like that one last night for some reason like i i took a bite of it and i was like eh not loving it so that's okay but it was so much fun we had such an amazing night and then we ended up coming home and me Corey, and my dad talked for about two hours like we just started chatting and then it just went on and on and on and on and we just kept chatting so what's on the docket for today i am obviously i'm working i don't have any days off and so i need to get a few admin things done i am going to spend the afternoon or like one or two hours at the pool today because today is supposed to be 80 and i think the clouds are supposed to pass and i haven't been able to go to the pool all week during lunch because it's just been cold it's been like 65 to 70 which with a breeze we've had the windows open and i've been in sweats so it's just been a little bit on the chillier side so I'm excited to sit at the pool and then tonight Corey and I are going on a date night to a restaurant called Seasons 52 which we love. Corey actually introduced me to this restaurant because his family used to go when he would come to Florida. So it's technically a chain. There's two restaurants that are I think are near us in Florida. One of them is in Palm Beach Gardens. The other one is in maybe it was Boca or something. I don't remember exactly but we are going to the Palm Beach Garden ones. It's right on the river or right on the water. So I'm very excited to do that tonight. So we're having a little date night, which will be nice. So we'll get ready together because I thought I could do a fun little get ready with me of makeup that I use when I go on a nice date night. So that's what's on the docket today. I need to go sit down. It is 9.05. So I'm ready to start the day and get some things done. Also, fingers crossed, there will be an Abercrombie try on today because... I'm supposed to get my package delivered today from Abercrombie. So if it's delivered today, great. You'll see a try-on haul in this video. If it is not delivered today, then you'll see a try-on haul over the weekend because I will do a try-on haul over the weekend once it actually gets here. So fingers crossed it comes today. I'm very excited to do an Abercrombie try-on, but I'm gonna go sit down at my desk so I can start the day. Little bit of a change. We were originally gonna go to the pool, but we decided against it because it is, thank you. So it's noon right now. I really did want to sit at the pool today and I had blocked out some time to do so, but it is actually really cloudy. So where it's a nice day, I might just go for a walk instead, but we've got lunch. So I wanted to share what I did for lunch today. I ended up finding a Target brand dill pickle salad. So we're gonna try that today, I'm very excited. Rotisserie chicken and some white rice. I can show on screen what we've got here. It is a pretty big lunch, but we're going out to dinner tonight, so I wanted to just like have a fuller 
more hefty lunch and I mean this is what I like to eat I like to have a big lunch so let's give this dill pickle salad a try it tastes just like the regular one so that's amazing because I've been on the hunt for the dill pickle salad and this tastes just like what I needed to. So I'm gonna go watch some TV and enjoy my lunch and then my Abercrombie order did come. So we are gonna do an Abercrombie try on. You wanna know the most annoying thing about these days is when it was supposed to be cloudy all day. Like it was cloudy all morning. Now it's 2.15 and there's barely any clouds in the sky and I very well could go to the pool but I'm not going to because now I need to sit back down at my desk in a little bit and get some more work done. Look at these crazy flyaways from my bun. I also have to shower before date night but I thought we could do a nice unboxing of my Abercrombie order. I ordered a ton of stuff. They had a sale. I really have been into Abercrombie recently and I will never normally buy from them if they don't have a sale because I do find that their stuff is expensive where they do have great quality I do find that some of their stuff can be pretty pricey so I like to buy things when it is on sale so we are gonna do a big haul slash try on haul this will not open there we go so let's get into an Abercrombie try on haul alrighty item number one is this like oversized gray full zip up now i thought i was getting it and it was going to be a little bit like fleece line but it's not it's actually almost that like neo not fully neoprene but like workout material i like it i don't know if i absolutely adore it and love it so this is going to be a maybe i did want a sweatshirt like this and i do think it's comfortable to just wear open with like a t-shirt like i'm wearing right now but this is a maybe all right next is this black top i actually hate it because it is supposed to be pulled like way down here but then like my bra is sticking out i don't know if i needed an extra small maybe that would have fit better i just feel like this is a small and it even feels just like massive this is like super long it's supposed to be cropped a different way so this is 100 percent going back it's also giving like parakeet i'm i it's just it's it's going back okay this i hate too i don't I don't like the way it fits. I feel like it makes me look super wide. I feel like this cut is just not flattering. I feel like there's just a lot of, where it's supposed to be a puff sleeve, I feel like it's a little too puffy. I don't know. I just feel like it's not flattering. And then like right here is kind of my bra too. So I feel like, again, another, another Miss Abercrombie. Now, this is really, I wouldn't say outside of my comfort zone because I do love the print a lot, but this was something I wasn't 100% sure on. It was final sale, but it was only $12. So I was like, you know what, if I go for it and I don't like it, it was only $12, but if I love it, then great, it was $12. And I'm definitely keeping this. It's very fun, beautiful print. I feel like it fits really nicely up here. And I don't know, I just feel like it's nice, it's different, it looks nice with jeans. So this is a definite keep. Oh, I've got a little string from my shorts, but this is a definite keep and it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Here's the next top. Do I like it? Do I not like it? I'm not sure. I really do like the cut of it here. I'll even come up a little bit closer. Like I like this and how like it's underneath. I feel like it's very flattering up here and I feel like the neckline is really nice. But for some reason, this just, we're making these tops so long that if you wear them with high waisted, there's all this fabric that you're not utilizing. I mean, I like obviously, right? You can tuck it in and it's probably, right? Like it's fine. I do think it's pretty, but I think this is a, a maybe. I, I really do like it. I don't want to say that I don't like it, but will I actually gravitate towards wearing it? Who knows? But I mean, it is pretty, but I still think I like the other one just like a smidge better. Okay, here is one of the dresses I got and I don't even think I like this either. I feel like this is just making me look like a football player with huge pads on. Like, I don't know if there's too much fabric, if they should have done a little bit less in the puff sleeve. Like, I really thought that this pattern was gonna be pretty and different for spring and summer, but I just don't feel like it's very, I keep even looking at it too. I don't think that this is super flattering. I mean, it's not for me. So this is a win. Sorry if you can hear the dryer going. I'm throwing one of the dresses in the dryer to see if it will like lessen, loosen its stiffness. But this sweatsuit, adorable, not see-through at all. I've always wanted a white sweatsuit that is not see-through. And I feel like this is perfect. I like that the shorts I can either wear cuffed over or I can roll them back underneath. This is perfect. This is a definite keep. So here's the blue set. It's basically the exact same shorts, but with a hoodie instead. I also didn't even literally tie the shorts. I think I really like 
this blue color. I feel like it's just almost like denim -y blue. So I like this and I like that this is a little bit cropped too. So this is a maybe, not a definite keep, but so far I think I really like it and I think I will keep it. So I stopped filming during the Abercrombie haul because I was trying things on and I just felt really crappy because nothing was fitting the way that I had anticipated. There is no worse feeling than trying on clothes and you're so excited for them and you've been waiting for them to come in the mail and they just fit you like trash. Like a trash bag would have looked better. It is just a complete shot to the ego, the feel good parts of yourself. Like it just shoots you right down your confidence plummets. I felt like I was trying things on and everything just looked so awkward on me. I'm someone that has a shorter torso, a bigger chest and long legs. Like I'm literally all leg. And I feel like any top is just, if it's not cropped, crop tops fit me like a regular top because I have no torso at all. But it is what it is. That shit kind of happens. And at the end of the day where I absolutely love Abercrombie and there's so many things from them that I get so excited to buy and that I really do enjoy. Today was just not that day. I ended up keeping two of the flowered tops and then both of the sweat sets, a white sweat set and then a navy blue sweat set as well because I can kind of mix and match those pieces. And honestly, I live in sweat sets all summer and all throughout the year. I'm constantly in comfy clothes because I work from home. So it is what it is. But it is 3.20, 3.30. I have a few little things for work to finish up. And then I need to edit a YouTube video that is going to go up in a few days. It's just Corey and I filmed a Q&A, like a Disney Q&A from our March trip, and I had 55 minutes of footage to like sift and edit and go through and put some B-roll over, and it's, it's just a labor of love. It's just a long project, which is fine. I love it, but it just, it does need to get done because it's like weighing on my brain. And we are going to do a get ready with me because Corey and I are going on a date night tonight. So I'm going to do a nice little glam get ready with me. We'll chat. We'll hang out while I get ready. And that's really it. I need to go into the other room and stop vlogging for just a minute. You know when you just need to like step away? Didn't feel great about the clothes. Just want to be like sitting on the couch, relaxing. So I'm going to go and do that now. And then I also need to wash this hair. Because I'm on like day five hair and that's really gross. And I just got all the gel in it. So I need to wash my hair. I'm going to end up slicking it back tonight anyway. But we just need to, we need to get some things done this afternoon. And just like that, we've got on some glam. I'm blushing because I have on a lot of blush. And I decided to, I didn't mention this when I was starting doing like my makeup and stuff, but I decided to keep this top. I think I just needed to actually do my makeup and see me done up in it because I would never wear this with like sweats. You know what I mean? Like I just needed to see myself all dolled up. So ready for date night. I got my little bag and we are ready to go. We're going to leave like literally now because we wanted to get there pretty early and I think it takes about a half hour to get there, Corey said. So we are headed out now to date night. and it was so fun the food was absolutely delicious I'm just like looking at myself in the mirror to see if I'm still vibing with this top and I am me and this top we're best friends so date night was so fun the food was amazing uh we ended up getting four appetizers we each got a cup of soup I got lobster bisque and Corey got this like potato and leek soup which was really good and then we each got a Caesar salad we technically ordered one Caesar and then they split it into do two dishes I love when they do that it was just like really nice that they could because we didn't want a lot of like appetizers and then for dinner I did the surf and turf so I got a filet and a lobster tail with little potatoes and asparagus Corey got, was it a lamb loin? Is that what you got? Yes. Yes, a lamb loin with mashed potatoes and asparagus. And then Corey and I's eyes, my eyes, are always bigger than my stomach. Because when I see the sides on a menu, like, girl, it is on. I'm all about more sides on the table. So then we ended up getting truffle risotto, 10 out of 10. We got, sh like, grilled lemon shrimp skewer and crab polenta. Honestly, I hated the crab polenta. I did not like it at all. I don't know why I thought I liked polenta. I actually don't think I like crab polenta or polenta at all. And then I thought that the shrimp was okay. It was just like grilled shrimp, but risotto was 
to die for. It was so, so good. And then for dessert, what they're known for at Seasons 52 are basically little shot glasses of desserts and they have like seven or eight different ones. And I ended up picking the raspberry chocolate chip cannoli and Corey got the key lime pie. So they come in a little shot glass and it's not a cannoli in a shot glass. It's like all the filling inside of a shot glass with like the little thing on it. You probably saw it in the video section before this, but they have like tiramisu, carrot cake, Oreo cream pie, another Oreo one. They just had like a ton of really good ones. So we're finally home. It was such a beautiful, beautiful date night. This is the hard part about when I get glam. Like I actually feel like my makeup still looks really good. Like this is my makeup, no filter, just like the camera. And this was my makeup at, I started putting it on at five o'clock. It's 8.43. And like, this is the worst part about coming home from the date night because I feel like I look pretty and I just like, I want to get undressed. Like I'm excited to be in my pajamas, but like sometimes when you're just feeling yourself, you don't want to get out of your date night clothing. But I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for spending the week with me. It was a lot of fun. This was the longest vlog I've ever done. And let me tell you, I loved it. So if you've made it this far, comment down below if you love the long vlog style. I really enjoyed it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I love you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.